Today we'll be going from this to this. So the clip you just heard is from the world's funkiest drummer. Q crash history course on Clyde Stubblefield. He's unfortunately not with us anymore, and he was best known for being James Brown's drummer way back in the 60s and 70s. He is responsible for one of the tastiest drum breaks in history. Funky Drummer by James Brown. One of the most sampled drummers of all time, you could pick out his funky drummer break everywhere. Did he get the credit that he deserved? I think not. A lot of people ripped his drums without compensating him or even giving him any sort of credit. And this happened to countless musicians during that era. So I'd like to think of this video as a tribute to the world's funkiest drummer. If you'd like to know where I got these drum tones from, check out Yurt Rock's Clyde Stubblefield, The Funky Drummer sample pack. We'll be working with a full mix down of his kit. They also offer a multi-track version of the sample pack to give you a bit more control over the mix. I have left links for both of these packs in the description. I've also left MPC affiliate links in the description as well in case you're on the edge of buying and if you end up using these links I actually make a small commission from that sale at no extra charge to one of the best ways of supporting this channel. I myself have the MPC one which pretty much has the same user interface as the X as well as the live. So this technique works for those models as well. All right, let's uh, let's find a loop to work with. You said Let's check out the original. Tom. So there's a lot of ghost notes going on there. That's nice. Something to work with. Okay, so these are obviously all super dope, but we gotta settle on something. Let's go with Hip March 1081. Cool, so let's load that onto this pad. Replace. And there's a little sample right there. The thing that I absolutely love about Clyde's playing is that it is metronomic, but the subdivisions are a little bit sloppy sometimes, which gives it that acoustic feel. It almost sounds a little bit unstable when you hear it alone, but you just know that if you play those parts with a band, that's gonna be the funkiest shit you've ever heard. I intentionally chose a pattern that has enough intonation between kick, snare, and hi-hat, so there's lots to work with there. So from here, we're actually able to dissect and extract one-shots and make a kit out of it. Me, personally, I like to keep things simple and standard. So A1 is for kick, A2 is for snare, A3 is for hi-hat, and A4 is for open hi-hat. Like I said, there's a lot of intonation, so we might want to upload more than that, but at least those four pads. So how do we do this? First, we're gonna hit edit samples and then hit shift and trim and choose threshold. And just like that, the drums are all chopped up for us. In an example like this, where like I said, Clyde plays a lot of ghost notes and the intonation's all over the place, you might wanna mess around with the threshold to chop the drums the way you want. Let's just see what we got here. Oof. Yes. Let's play with the threshold a little bit. I'm gonna bring it down to 30. Doesn't make too much of a difference. I'm just gonna bring that back up to 50. It's standard. Make sure that your min time is set to around 100 milliseconds because otherwise your samples will be extremely short and useless. Let's bring it down just to show you an example. Like. You're hearing that. There's nothing there. Let's bring it back up to 100. You get the idea. Now we have nice full samples. You'll also notice that there's a lot of chops here to work with. You could actually switch from one bank to the next if you want different notes. So now that we have this understanding, let's zero in on a kick. That one's all right. 
Let's choose that one. This one's good, but it has a hi-hat on it. This one's bare, so let's keep that. So make sure you're on the right pad and we could actually transport this. Hit shift and then convert. We're gonna scroll down to assign slice to pad. One little tricky thing here, make sure that you're assigned to a different program. So I'm currently on program four. I'm gonna scroll down to five pad A01 of program 05. Let's try that. Do it. Make sure we did it correctly. There's our kit. Let's move on to snare. There's a lot of tasty <laughs> snares in this kit. Let's check it out. Okay, it's like a flam. Oh. Damn, that hits. Exact same process. So shift, convert, make sure you're going to a different program. So program five, I'm gonna assign it to A2 of program five. Let's do it. So next is hi-hat. Let's look around for that. This one's nice. It's a little bit too ticky maybe. I want something a bit chunkier. That's nice. But there's a little blip at the end of it. Can you hear that? So we could fix that by zooming in. Make sure you're on the right cue link. So this is the starting point cue link. Make sure it's right at the start of that note. And this is the end point cue link. So let's scroll over and get rid of that little blip there. There we go, it's gone. Same thing as before. So shift, convert, program 005, and we're gonna assign that to pad A3. Do it. And finally, let's look for an open hi-hat. Okay, maybe. I guess that's the closest thing we have. Once again, there's a little blip at the end, so zoom in. I'm gonna get rid of that. Great. Shift, convert to program five, pad A4, do it. Let's head over to program five now. There it is, we should have kick, snare, hi-hat, open hi-hat. That blip is still there on the hi-hat though, so let's zoom in again. We're gonna fix that. I'm just gonna do this with my finger. And there it is. Clean. I could tell right off the bat that these drums are gonna sound very boom bappy, which is great. So I think that's where we're gonna go with it. We've got these drums assigned, but we're still not done. Let's set you up straight to the end with this. With the default settings, these drums are actually canceling each other out. They're very choppy. So head over to Warp Samples, Master. We're gonna set this to Poly. So now you're actually able to play several samples at the same time without them canceling out. Problem solved. I usually like to set up a mute group with the open hi-hat and the snare, but because the open hi-hat is so short, I don't think we need to. That being said, if you want some more insight on mute groups, that is a video for you. You get a video, you get a video, you get a video. So Clyde Stubblefield's drums were used a ton in drum and bass music. I'm about to show you why. Samples, let's head back to master. I'm gonna shift, select all the drums. I'm gonna raise the volume of all the drums to maybe around four. Let's go to samples and I'm gonna pitch all of these up to maybe, I don't know, five or six semitones. Like that, that is the most drum and bass sounding snare I've ever heard. You can go even higher if you want. I wouldn't want to go too high because then it starts to, starts to sound a little bit Mickey Mouse. Yeah, it's well, maybe around five or six. And voila, you have drum and bass. We changed the pitch of all four of these drums. If you want, you could solo one. Like for example, the kick, maybe I want to bring that back down or maybe even lower it one or two semitones. Yeah, that's even better. Personally, I like the snare a little bit higher. It sounds like a piccolo snare. Let's experiment with the hi-hat. Maybe around two or three. Man, this 
kit sounds f dope. So there you have it. You have your drum and bassy sounds, you have your boom bap sounds. You might also notice that there is sidechain compression in the example that I just showed you. If that's something that you would like to include in your own beats, that's a video for you. I have plenty of other MPC content to help you guys out, all linked in the description. Reminder that there are MPC affiliate links in the description as well. The pack that I just used is Yurt Rock's Clyde Stubblefield sample pack. If you use the discount link in the description, you get a 50% discount on this pack or any other Clyde Stubblefield pack. Thanks for watching, RIP Clyde Stubblefield, and hope you subscribe. See you soon.